time for Steven's A-list. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And it's the perfect day to do it because I got my man Shea Shea in the house with Shea by Laportier. He got that going on right there. So, you know, he took a sip before this segment. So, who knows how he's going to judge it? I got my man JJ in the house. You know it's big time because the brother called a game. So, if I sit up there to come off the game to come in the first take, I feel privileged. I feel privileged. So, it's time to give him an A-list. NBA players most deserving of a statue. Current players. Current players. Not past them. Current players, okay? Let's go to the list right now. Give me number five right here. Please give it to me. Bam! Giannis, is there a doubt? Would Milwaukee even be relevant on the map if it were not for Giannis and the Tocumpo? You understand what I'm saying? A defensive player of the year, league MVP, NBA champion, NBA finals MVP. We know what he means to Milwaukee. We know how dominant he is. And the bottom line is this. Outside of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, when he was with the Milwaukee Bucks, I mean, what is it? What else do you got? I mean, I love Bob Lanier, Bob Lanier and all of that stuff. But Giannis is Giannis, okay? Does he deserve a statue? You're damn right. They don't have many reasons to put a statue up in Milwaukee. This would be one of them. Let's go to number four on the list, please. Give it to me right now, please. Give it to me. Bam! That's the one right there, JJ! That's the one right there! Three, I'm sorry, four-time champions. Six NBA Finals appearances, you understand? There is no denying that no matter how great Steph Curry is, you can't have a statue and, excuse me, it's just Steph. You're looking at Clay and Draymond. They both deserve one. If the Lakers could have eight different statues outside of Crypto.com Arena and one of them was for Oscar De La Hoya, I'm sure you can justify this, all right? Number three on the list, please give it to me right now. Give it to me right now. Give it to me. Where is it? Bam! The Miami Heat. Now, they didn't win all four years. They go to the finals all four years. Two of those times, they won the chip. Beat OKC, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Russell Westbrook. All right. And then after that, of course, they beat the San Antonio Spurs. LeBron is a big time reason why. You damn right he deserves a statue outside of Miami. Pat Riley, work it out. Not before D-Wade, though. But work it out. Number two on the list, please give it to me right now. Give it to me. Bam! LeBron James in Cleveland. More than a half century curse. Not just over the team, but over all sports in the Cleveland area. They haven't won a championship since Jim Brown was playing JJ. Little historical note for you there. You both, okay? So LeBron James deserves a statue in Miami and Cleveland, but not LA. That would go here to number one. Give it to me right now, please. The one and only Stephen Curry, the greatest shooter God has ever created. What he has meant to this franchise, the leadership, the role model, the assassin, the babyface assassin, the box office appeal that he has brought to the equation, there is no question that when you look at Steph Curry, he deserves a statue. But there should be three. Three of them. One, two, three. With LeBron in Cleveland, LeBron in Miami, and Giannis in Milwaukee. That's my list of the top of five current players who deserve a statue. I, I mean, St Stephen, Stephen, I, go ahead, man. Go ahead and please start. Christine, please you start. want? Christine, you want to ask, you want to ask the, uh, uh, the the audience to what vote? What the grade is? What because that's some bullshit. We don't yeah. have we don't have an no, audience. Yeah, vote. I, it's you guys. Okay, that's okay. a bull job. Okay. What you talking about? Yeah, some bull job. <laughs> Let me finish. Okay. I got I got most guys. You say most guys deserving of a statue. I Come got play. LeBron, Steph yep. Curry, Giannis and Jokic, KD and Kawhi. That's my list. KD and Kawhi. No, I'm going to disagree yep. with that. But I'll let JJ go first. Go ahead. If I'm not mistaken, I think he just listed the six current players that have been finals MVPs. Yes, I believe so. Okay. okay. All right. The fact that Nikola Jokic oh, and hold not... on. LeBron Le LeBron is a, a regular season MVP. So is Steph. So is Giannis. So is Jokic. So is KD. Kawhi is a finals MVP, a two-time and a two-time defensive player of the year. But go ahead. Go. Okay, go ahead. The fact that Jokic is not on this list. Right. I'm going to have to give you a <laughs> failing you. grade. I have no oh, issue. Man. I have no issue if the Warriors want to build a statue for okay. Clay and Draymond, too. Okay, okay. I have no issue with that. Okay, okay. 
Denver had never won a championship, period. I agree. In the franchise history. That's right. Nikola Jokic is the best player in that franchise's history. No question. How is he not on this list? Because. How is he not on this list? Excuse me. Excuse me. You could say he should be on this list, but I don't think he goes on the list ahead of the four titles here. The, the title here in Cleveland, you're erasing a curse. Who would the, you take the, off the two today? two titles here, four straight trips to the NBA Finals, and four championships. I mean, you can't separate Clay and Dre with Steph. You can't do it. You can't do it. You and can. by the way, and by listen, I appreciate what KD brings to the table. Two-time NBA Finals MVP. I get all of that. But you again, this is where you're in Oklahoma City and you can't close on a 3-1 lead in a game seven. You lose in that conference finals, and then you go to the team that beats you immediately after. I can't give them a statue in Golden State. I can't give them a statue in OKC. And that's what we're talking about, Shannon. We're talking about location, location, location. I get you all. You didn't say that. No, 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 what it I mean say. is, no, I'm saying a statue, a statue for the team, the franchise, what you mean to that franchise, what LeBron means to Cleveland and the Heat, oh, that's not the Lakers, it ain't Kobe, Magic, Kareem. Hold on, Stephen A, Stephen A, so let me ask you this, in the last decade, what were the Lakers before LeBron got there, the uh, last they decade? Sorry. They were sorry, that's true. And the one good season they had was the lockout short season. But go ahead. Not lockout, I mean coach. Uh, they didn't want to. I, I, I go ahead, JJ. That. I don't take a terrible. I, 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 someone much smarter than me who's done all the research on this could probably answer this question. I don't, I don't remember a time where the statue, certainly jerseys hanging in the rafters mm -hmm. for second and third best players on championship teams. That has happened before, right? Because Portland Trailblazers, yeah. when they won in the late 70s, they got the entire starting five. Their jerseys yeah. are in the rafters, okay. right? Okay. Typically, statues yeah. are for the best player.